Your opponent, Steve Palazzo, has had the seat since 2011. What is it that he doesn't quite get? <laughs> well, I don't think he values the people of this district, for one, because otherwise he'd be campaigning right now, which he's not doing. Um, and that's another issue. I believe that our community, our constituents have to be engaged because I always uh, tell my community, it's harder for you to tell me what I'm not doing when you don't know what I'm supposed to be doing in the first place. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's where the disconnect comes into play, um, because a lot of a lot of public servants don't want their constituency to be educated on what their true role is, because then there's there's a accountability increase, because now I can tell you what you're not doing, because I know exactly what it is that your job is. Um, and for some reason, you know, we find ourselves continuing to elect people who don't value don't value their constituents. They get elected and they go to Jackson, they go to Washington, and then they become um, solo politicians. They become solo public servants that that are, are beholding to folks that are not their constituents. That's not me. You know, it seems like so many people in Mississippi love you and what you're doing and what you got going on down there is working. How is those skills you have in Mississippi going to play in Washington? Because that's a whole different ballpark. Folks in Washington don't cast votes for me, but my constituents do. So that's why I've always been invested in making sure my constituency know exactly what's going on, exactly what I'm doing, and that we're on the same page or as close to the same page as possible so that I don't have to worry about those ramifications when I come home to answer to my constituency, making sure that they understand that at the end of the day, they have the final say so on whether or not they send me back. And I will never, and I always say that throughout my my, uh, my speeches and, and um um, talks with my constituents, I will never, ever deprive you of that because I work for you.